welcome to this session. In this session, we discuss a problem on trigonometric integration, where we have been given the integral i, 0 to pi over 4, tan power 8 of x, sec like x dx. And then the question is to express uh, the integral from 0 to pi over 4, tan power 10x, sec x dx, in terms of this integral i. So the trick here is to use integration by parts on this given problem and show that the expansion of the solution of this given integral can be expressed in terms of what we have in I. So solution. So let the given integral, let us call it J, be the integral from zero to pi over four and then tan power 10 of x sec dx. Then using integration by parts, we have j can be written as integral from zero to pi over four. And then we write tan power nine of x sec of x times tan of x <laughs> dx. So which will give us integration by parts will have tan power nine of x and then sec x, then apply limits from zero to pi over four minus nine integral from zero to pi over four tan power h of x sec cubed of x then dx. That's just integration by parts. And then this will give us, so tan power nine of x set x. <coughs> when you apply limits from zero to pi over four, you get <coughs> tan power nine of pi over four sec pi over four. And these values will give us one raised power nine. And then this is root two. It's advisable that <coughs> you give your answers in terms of roots <coughs> or such so that you get the exact values. So that is root two. From x sec square uh, sec cubed of x we know it can be written as sec squared x and then sec x which is the same thing as writing tan squared x plus one times sec x so it follows that integral from zero to pi over four of tan power eight of x times sec of x dx is the same as integral from zero to pi over four of tan power eight of x and then times tan squared of x plus one, then you multiply by sec of x dx. So 
so that we have this is the same as the integral of j plus i now This implies that one over root two. Remember, we obtained here this as root two, and then so we had a factor nine at this point here. So we'll have root two so therefore root two minus nine J so remember at this point here we have this what gives us uh, this is J so this is what is giving us root 2 and then we have 9 here then multiplied by this integral here so root 2 minus nine j minus nine i is equals to j because this part here this one you are picking from that the expression of this the reduction of this part here is what is resulting into what you are writing down there that you can express this one to get tan power 10 and also so you get tan power 10 which was in the equation and also you get tan power 8 which was in the i integral So, which means remember this power three. So, which means we have making j the subject. Take this one. We have root two minus nine i equals to ten j. So, which implies that j alone will be 1 over 10 root 2 and then minus 9 over 10 i so therefore this is the relationship between the integral i and the integral j as given in the problem so this is the final answer thank you